What is up, Juventus fans? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back. Uh, today, overall, is going to be a doozy of a show. When I say this, I mean also it's a doozy of a news day. So not just today's show right now, but the live show that'll be and honestly just a couple hours really from when this comes out. So make sure you tune into this and then also check back with our live show. We've got a lot to run down. Uh, Julian will probably be manning that from the beginning. We'll see. Hopefully I won't be out of town or whatever, but I'm trying to get back so we can talk about it. But if not, you know, you're in good hands. Julian's can, uh, you know, Julian can fill you in on everything you need to know and talk about it. Um, so our main talking points that we have right now are Kyle George this summer. What's the situation with him? Pjanic late in the window. Yeah, we know. I know. I know. I'm losing this battle. I have lost. I may have to bend the knee. I think it's time for me to bend the knee. And then the Locatelli meeting, uh, what's going on there? What do we have uh, update-wise to talk about with that situation? Uh, what, keep, <laughs> keep, what am I saying? Let's get excited. Let's talk about it now. Stick with us and we'll fill you in. Ciao, ragazzi. Welcome back to the Biancanary Zone. You're in the Biancanary Zone. My name is Justin Sofro. Today is Wednesday, July 28, 2021. And we've, uh, like I said, we got a lot to talk about. Got a lot to talk about that we have to split it up, honestly. I'm talking about the early news of what we really have. And then we're going to have even more in the live show. Please, you have to tune into the live show. Uh, if you if you can't make it for the live, check in with us afterward. It'll be reposted. Uh, follow us on our Twitter account at Biancanary Zone. Um, and he'll update you and uh, we'll get that sent out to you, It'll, you know, with the link there so you can watch it anytime, anywhere. But make sure you do that. You're going to want it. You're not going to want to miss this at all. Um, again, before we do anything, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon as well. But make sure the like and subscribe button are hit. We appreciate it. We hit 1000. This channel is really, you know, we're, we're doing well. I appreciate it. Can't thank any, anybody else enough more than you guys that are watching these videos and being a part of our community every each and every day. Um, I know your names. You know who you are. Just thank you guys. Okay, let's get into it. Um, I guess the title for this <sighs> title for this video is Kyle George, Locatelli, Pjanic, in that order. Yeah. That's where I am. But let's go ahead. The very first news of the day that we really have is Kyle George and updates regarding him. First off, we got Romeo Agresti, who's saying, Juve, who defined the agreement with the entourage of Kyle George, are thinking about a compensation that does not exceed $2 million. If Santos won't accept, the Bianconeri will work, close, uh, work to close the arrival of the player on a free, which would be in January, of course. Following that, we've got uh, Mirko De Natale. I'm going to try to slow it down. I know a lot of you probably aren't uh, English as your first speaking language, so it's not fair for me to pull, you know, my speed reading like I do half the time, but I want to keep these videos short and condensed as well for you guys. Uh, next up, we have Mirko De Natale and his report saying that the weeks of contact with the entourage of Kayo with the total agreement reached on Monday, letters sent to Santos with the intention to not pay the requested 6 million euros. It will be on a free transfer or a free of max uh, 1.5 million euros. Um, it'll be one of those options is what we're looking at. Then uh, Gold Brazil is saying that Caio Jorge is not trained with Santos's first team to face uh, Wazirine, Wazirians. I, again, me and pronunciation, it's my mortal battle. Uh, my mortal enemy besides Pjanic, he's, he's number one and then it's pronunciation of foreign country clubs and stuff like that and players <laughs> um talks are underway to nego negotiate financial compensation from juventus to santos uh for an immediate transfer this august and that's gold brazil uh then we have calcio mercado i'm going through all these real quick just to get a quick you know summarization summarization of what i feel like with this it's all good that's all i'm gonna say uh milan had an agreement this is calcio mercado saying uh, milan had an agreement with kyle george and benfica with santos however the offer made by Juventus to the player and agent is much better than those of Milan and Benfica. So obviously he's going to want Juventus. And I mean, yeah, there is, I will give Milan their history in the Champions League and all that. But honestly, Juventus is a club that probably aspires to see, uh, to go to. Um, it's, you know, a lot of people that when they get here, they love it. Um, you know, the history with you, with uh, Juventus as well as there has to be a draw to Ronaldo being playing at Juventus right now. Um, and then Luca Biancin says, uh, Kyle George, if signed, would not go and play in the U23. The most likely solution is that uh, being of the fourth option in the first team. So he's not just a young option. I remember I talked about this when we first opened this whole situation up. I was like, he's young, hasn't doesn't really have like a huge resume when it comes to stuff he's done. I know people see, you know, I have to trust some of the eyeball tests. 
that people are seeing out here when they see the player that they know that he's, um, you know, something serious, that he's got the potential, something that I may not be the best at just spotting pure potential that some of these scouts can do. So I trust that. But at least we know he's not going to play for the U23. He's going to be with the first team. And I'm sure that's going to be part of the agreement with him signing for Juventus. He doesn't want to go play lower level. Um, Basically, my whole thoughts are, yeah, Juventus, they, they've got great positioning with the situation. Uh, Kyle Jorge wants Juventus. They're going to offer him a more beneficial uh, deal for him, the agent, whatever have you, than Milan could or Benfica could. Uh, Benfica or however you say it. Yeah. Anyway, um. I guess the whole situation, well, just to see how is this going to play out. Maybe we have some updates later that we'll talk about. But how will this play out when it comes to Kyle Jorge? And, um, you know, honestly, just um, with Santos, are they going to be like, are they going to, you know, crumble or not crumble? Are they going to end up, um, you know, giving in and being like, okay, we will take the 2 million, the 1.5, whatever have you, million euros, instead of just risking him, losing him for nothing in January. Like, it doesn't make sense. I understand that they could have had a better deal with the other two clubs. Fortunately, the player chooses everything. That's the one thing we've learned with Locatelli. One thing we've learned with a lot of guys, the player has a lot of power in the situation. And luckily, this one will probably work out in Juventus's favor. Uh, but that's the situation with Kyle George. Let's move on to um, my least favorite topic of the day. And that is that of um, Miralem Pjanic. Uh, Gabriel Sanz is reporting that Pjanic's departure from Barcelona is coming closer. It will depend on whether Juventus manages to sell Di Maral or Ramsey. Um, and then we have two other, I think, uh, comments about that. Basically, Mirko De Natale is saying that Barcelona needs the cash as much as possible and would accept a loan multi-year uh, with an obligation to buy, an important one. Uh, Juve are always thinking about it, but the priority is Locatelli, as it should be. If we're, you know, if we're going for Giannis first and before we get the signature from Locatelli, I would be worried. But if he's a secondary option, it's fine, whatever. Um, but yeah, they said that Barcelona needs to cash, cash as much as possible, would accept a loan multi-year, but it has to have an obligation to buy. So we'll see. I, I hope Juventus doesn't do the obligation to buy. If you just do the option, that's fine. But an obligation, I don't like that. Um, Gazeta del Sport. It's saying that Barcelona are willing to let Pjanic go on a two-year loan deal or even on a free transfer. Juventus are interested, but first they need to sell Ramsey to free up space on the UCL list with Arthur dropping out of the list until January. So yeah, Ramsey's the big uh, key or the cog when it comes to this situation. We know, um, you know, I don't know how much it really benefits me or it behooves me uh, or excites me to have Pjanic come in in place of Ramsey. To me, it's still a little bit what I would view as dead, dead weight. But here's where it changes. Here's where I change everything. And what I, this is it. This is it, guys. Everybody who's a big Pjanic guys, I'm gonna bend the knee, and I will say this right now. I listen to the Allegri comments. I listen to his thing. Allegri's got me fired up. I don't want to be this guy. I usually do try to avoid being this guy of buying in too much from the start. I mean, it's not from the start. He's been here before. He's he's a proven winner. Uh, and I know what we're getting with Allegri. I want him back. But Allegri has got my buy-in with him, and I believe in him, and I believe he knows what he's doing. If he wants Pjanic, and we're getting Locatelli, um, Kyle Jorge, great, fine. Not, I mean, Kyle Jorge's not like my, you know, I'm not like the most excited about him. I'm happy that, he, you know, if we can get him a cheap option, maybe he could become a serious talent in the future. Whatever. We're getting Locatelli. If he wants Pjanic and there's no other options, let him have Pjanic, especially if it's cheap. I will bend the knee. I believe in you, uh, Allegri. I believe you'll get this done. Uh, but I want to see it, and I want it to be proven. Just don't give us that obligation is all I ask, please. Um, otherwise, this is me trying to step away. I'm lying more than likely. And when I say lying, it's not on purpose. But you just know who I am. I'm also a stubborn person. Um, sometimes I may be loud, obnoxious. I may have more personality. That's why I'm able to do this, honestly. And Maybe a bit narcissistic because I'm here talking to a mic and a camera like people actually care what I'm saying. But at the same time, um, I will buy in. I'll probably end up stepping back and going against everything I'm saying right now. But I'll buy in and say, you know what you're doing with Pjanic and you will. Uh, it'll be successful or good or beneficial for Juventus. That's me stepping off. Feel free. Roast me, whatever you want to do. All right, let's move on. Uh, we've got the Locatelli deal to talk about. We've got Correa de los Portes saying that tomorrow, Sassuolo will accept the new offer from Juventus. Okay. Uh, consisting of a two-year loan with an obligation to buy the player at $35 million 
I think that's fair. If you get a two million or a two year loan, that's good. That gives Juventus enough time to make sure they can pay pay for everything. But then also the thirty five million is beneficial. You're not paying the full forty. Lovely, awesome. It seems like they want to get this done. It seems now Sassuolo is ready to you know move this up and actually just finish the deal, get it done. I think we're ready to get it done. Let's let's just go. Let's make bring Lucatelli home. Love this kid. Love his potential. Love what he can be for not just Juventus but also the Italian national team. Let's get it done. Thank you, Sassuolo. Um, maybe I'm wearing Sassuolo colors. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm wearing this as a wink to you. Thank you for getting it done. I just happen to notice that. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> Sorry, the way this is titled, it just says Jesus. I know that's not what they mean. I know they mean Jesus, but this is how the title is read for this. Uh, Gazzetta dello Sport is reporting on um, Jesus uh, that Juventus are waiting on the Kane City situation. They would like to bring in Gabriel Jesus on a loan deal. That's why Juventus are waiting on bringing in Kyle this summer or in January. So that's an interesting report. Um, I don't know how much I buy too much into this just because really, honestly, there hasn't been a ton of hype for uh, Gabriel Jesus. He was a player that I liked, a player that I think could be a decent option. Um, but honestly, if you're going to go ahead and get Kyle, just go ahead and get Kyle. It's going to be the fourth option regardless because Ronaldo's going to stay. He should be staying at least. If something changes at the end, that'd be crazy. Then I could say get you know Jesus in here. But really, to me, Jesus should be a fourth option. And if that spot's already taken with Kyle Jorge, that's fine. Uh, we'll see what happens there. We'll see if Kyle Jorge doesn't, you know, if if uh, Santos holds firm and refuses and is willing to eat that whatever $2 million just to spite Juventus until January, whatever then maybe you can get him in here. But otherwise, we're still waiting to see if if uh, Harry Kane is going to end up going to uh, Man City or what have you. So just keep an eye out on that. Another Gazzetta del Sport, we got Di Miral, who's saying that Cherubini is in talks with Dortmund over a possible transfer. Uh, yeah, oh. Kerubini is in talks with Dortmund over a possible Demerol transfer. Sorry, for some reason, my eyes were like, what's going on here? Uh, Juventus want more than 30 million euros. Nothing really new to add there. They want over 30 million euros. Um, don't go cheap. We'll see what ha- happens there. I think Atalanta is still the one to look out for, especially if Romero is on the move. Uh, then we also have Calcio Mercado talking about DeShilio, saying that the chances of DeShilio staying at the club are growing. There are no offers, and Allegri, Allegri trusts the player. Now, this is something that kind of worries me a little bit because of what I'm seeing is if DeShilio ends up staying, there's a good chance that Luca Pellegrini may be sent back out on loan which I would be unhappy about. I would be very disappointed and very frustrated. Uh, I understand Luca maybe isn't the type of player that we're expecting, but I'd rather have youth try to develop than have DeShilio, who is somebody who is old. He's past his time. When I say old, he's 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 done. Like He's done. He's, he's not at the peak of his performing years, obviously. Maybe a leg can get something out of him, but I would rather have Luca Pellegrini get his opportunity, even though he seems pretty injury prone. Uh, but I guess he was back at it yesterday or the day before. So we'll see. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, which you prefer. Um, I have a feeling we have a lot of Luca Pellegrini guys who want to see him get a chance. So, and then is this the final story? Okay, this is the final story for me. But like I said, check back in in a couple hours. We're going to have another live video talking even more. This has just been a torrential uh, wave of you know news coming in today. So there's only so much I can do. Uh, in this video to cover, especially just because we want to keep this short enough. You don't want to have an hour video of me talking to a camera. Also, processing time would suck with that. (laughs) Then our last news of the day is around Piazza. Uh, Romeo Degresti was saying that Piazza will sign for Torino today on loan with the option to buy. So we can take him off the transfer meter. It's done. It's 100%. He's going on loan, option to buy, prefer obligation, whatever. Um, Why is my head moving around like crazy? Uh, Anyway, that's the way it's going to go. Uh, he'll sign for Torino. One more player down on the list of guys. Hopefully, we can knock a few more out, Ramsey. Uh, and then we'll see what happens there. Anyway, that's all the news I have for you right now for today. Like I said, we're going to have more news for you later today. Check in with the live. Please check in with the live. I might actually be out of town. Or not out of town, but I might be on a job right then. So we'll see if I'll be there. But Julian will be there. It's a fan favorite. I know you want Julian there more than me. <laughs> and that's okay with me. He does a great job of what he does. Um, so check in with Julian. Show him support. Give him a follow on Twitter. I think it was at Genoti151. And then also, um, just make sure you uh, just make sure you uh, join us or at least get it on the rewatch if you're able to. Uh, we appreciate that and all the support that you all give. Uh, make sure you leave your comments in the comment section down below, as well as make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon to stay notified for all of our latest videos. Follow Beyond Canary Zone at Beyond Canary Zone on Twitter and Instagram. Follow me at Justin Sofro on Twitter. Forza Juve. Forza Beyond Canary.